Hello and what's up peeps, this is the Geek God is back again with another video and this time you're gonna be doing something different, something for the nerds and basically for every artist out there, especially if you're a beginner or a student or even if you're highly experienced because this is some really good stuff that will be very helpful and may give you whole new perspectives. So I'll be reviewing and talking about James Gurney's benchmark book Color and Light, A Guide for the Realist Painter and tell you exactly why it's an excellent source for you to learn from. You guys can skip the intro if you want and jump straight into the review and page flip through chapter from the timestamp. Now for those of you who don't know, I'm big into collecting art books, be it video game art books or movie pre-production books or, or just books on painting. I like to collect them, study them, learn from them, get new ideas and draw inspiration. A lot of the knowledge I share in my tutorials are things I have learned from these books. So I'm gonna turn this into a series where I'll be reviewing and talking about some of the absolute best art books out there that you should most definitely get your hands on if you wanna give your artistic journey a super boost. So as you can see here I have James Gurney's Color and Light which I have often in the past considered as a Bible, being an artist myself. It's like a fountain, a gold mine of knowledge and clarity. I'll be quickly flipping through the pages of this book, going from chapter to chapter and topic to topic to give you a brief glimpse because you must really own it physically to truly take in all it has to offer. And I want to do justice by James Gurney, who is by the way, a brilliant artist author and teacher. The way he simplifies complex ideas and concepts is superb. Do check out his works on Dinotopia, they are amazing. You can buy this book using the purchase link in the description down below. This is an absolute must-have in your artist arsenal. Super worth it. So the reason I've been praising this book so much is because how eye-opening it is and how it literally blew my mind and completely changed the way I look at the world. It helped me become a better observer, a more conscious thinker. I don't just look at things, I observe and question and try to understand why something I'm seeing looks the way it looks. And that has in turn helped me become a much better artist and a better realist painter. This book is not your typical instructional guide with step-by-step -step process on how to draw. Rather, this book acts as a bridge between theory and practice, which is something that's missing in a lot of books or videos. They either get too deep into concepts and theories or too much into the practical applications and techniques rather than explaining the fundamentals and basics. This book is like a balanced bridge between them. It answers important questions like why rather than how. You'll find lots of books and videos telling you how, but you really need to understand the why first. Why should you draw something in a certain way rather than how and the techniques? Understanding how colors, lights and shadows truly work in a beautiful coordination with each other in a real natural world is really really important but also something that gets ignored a lot. We are mostly focused on the techniques and tools and how to get that beautiful output in the end that will make everyone go wow rather than working on understanding why should you choose to make certain artistic decisions to get to that final output stage. This book really answers a lot of these questions which you don't even know how to ask but they're always there, hidden somewhere in our brain. That's how this book is an eye-opener. It'll often make you say, oh wow, so that's why. How did I never think of that before? How did I never think like that before? Everything makes so much more sense now. This book will be even more handy if you strive for perfection with some of the tiniest things like the many different ways of painting reflections, the way reflection looks on a wet street, or on a glossy marble floor, or on perfectly still water, or on water with a lot of ripples on a windy day. Reflections will look completely different in all these cases and you will learn to differentiate 
and understand the differences how objects react to different kinds of lighting direct reflected diffused and more it teaches you about cast shadow occlusion shadow multiple shadows specularity atmospheric perspective caustics fall off textures and different materials and so much more it's a lot to take in but the beauty of this book is how it simplifies all this information and knowledge and makes the whole experience like a walk in the park rather than preparing for some exam by mugging things up word to word from the book i don't want to give everything away by going in depth about all these pages because this is something you must own and i'm not wasting too much time flipping the pages just want to give you guys a rough idea if you want to buy a copy the purchase link is in the description down below Again, if you want to buy a copy, the purchase link is in the description down below. I'll be reviewing and talking about more amazing art books in the coming days. So if you like the video, hit the like button, share, leave a comment if you have any suggestions. And finally, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon to get notifications of my upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. So that's all for now. See you on the next one. Peace.